A museum in the Northland just received grant money to help bring back one pair of the iconic ruby red slippers used during the filming of the classic movie The Wizard of Oz. Northern News Now's Taryn Simmons visited the Julie Gar uh, Judy Garland Museum to learn why those who run it want it, the beloved memorabilia back in Grand Rapids. There's no place like home for the red ruby slippers. And those at the Judy Garland Museum say that's right here, where they were stolen until 2005. The museum recently received $100,000 tourism grant from the state of Minnesota in hopes of getting the famous footwear back. We just feel that, you know, Judy Garland was born here in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. She's the one that made those slippers famous. She's the main character in The Wizard of Oz. After the shoes were recovered by the FBI in 2018, they were eventually returned to owner and collector Michael Shaw in 2024. Shaw turned them over to the Heritage Auction House to be auctioned in December of this year. The slippers are currently valued at $3.5 million. Heights says that the case of the missing slippers has become a big attraction. As you can see, we now have a ruby slipper theft exhibit, and this summer we are doing um, guided tours about the, the stealing of the ruby slippers. John Kelsch, who's a fan of Garland's work and curator of the museum, agrees. It's the most asked question at our front desk. You know, what happened? Since the two indictments by the FBI, there's been more interest. Kelsch hopes that the museum will bring more attention to more than just the red slippers and more about Garland's legacy. She made 32 movies, hundreds of radio shows. She had her own television show. Uh, gave 1,100 concerts all over the world. So it's much more than just Wizard of Oz. Following the Yellow Brick Road back to Grand Rapids. In Grand Rapids, I'm Taryn Simmons, Northern News Now. And the museum's going to be hosting its Judy Garland Festival coming up June 20th to 23rd. You can find more information out about that and the criminal case involving the slippers at northernnewsnow.com.